Hey guys, happy Mother's Day, it's Deb. I'm doing a technique, I'm making um, a painting for a friend of mine and I'm doing the background and I thought I'd share it with you. I had paint down on this and then I put tissue paper on it and I picked it up, the tissue paper off, just so I could show you what you get when you take the tissue paper back off. So up here it looks like the sky and you see all these lines that the tissue paper left. So that's a cool technique um, if you want to put that on a card or a mini album page, scrapbooking page. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to do. I put some of this golden fluid acrylic blue down in here. And I added some uh, golden acrylic glazing satin down here and what I'm going to do is just add some paint in the back. Now this is going to be my sky so I want a little bit more blue up here than I do down below and I'm just putting the paint like dabbing it all over and the, the reason why I'm using the glaze is because the glaze thins the paint out so it doesn't have the rich color it's kind of like when you use watercolors and you add water, uh, it, it uh, makes it more translucent. Okay, down here I want it to be a little bit lighter. So now I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm just going to mold it on here, just like this. This is fun, something different. Okay, now if I was to pull this up, then you would get those lines that I just showed you. You would let it dry and then pull it up and you would get lines. But I want the tissue paper to actually stay on the back. And if it's okay if, it's rip, if it rips, because you could put more tissue paper on top of it. I'm just basically going for like a feel of the background, the sky. I want this to represent the um, clouds. In fact, if I like the bottom better here, I might just turn it around. And I'll make this the sky. Okay. So then after I get it down, I'm going to just take some glaze and some paint. And just play with it. And later on, if I have too much blue in one area, what I'll do is I'll use a little white paint. And I'll put some glaze in it. And where there's too much paint, you um, just take a paper towel and you can pick it up. See? So I just want to get a little glaze. Oops, pour too much glaze out. A little more glaze in here just to help stick it, stick it down. And this is all about playing. You play until you get the look that you want. So you could do this in a mini album, on a, on a tag, just to give a different look. So we're always trying to make things look a little different. And I'm just putting the glaze on my fingers. It's like playing when we're in kindergarten. And you see how some of the canvas is showing through because the paper ripped. I don't even think I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to leave it. I could dab it. Dab the color. pretty cool. Okay, now what I'm going to do now while it's wet and I'm going to leave this here. This is this is the tissue paper ripped here and I'm not even going to replace that with any more tissue paper, but you could. 
All right, now I'm going to play with a drop of blue just in certain areas. I want it a little bit darker, and then I'm going to pat. And you want to pat. You're going to be doing layers. You're going to do this, and then you're going to go with a little white to soften it up. And this is my sky. So I'm going to put an angel in the sky. And then you're just going to keep on patting. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is get my uh, white out or cream. You can use a cream color. Um, here we go. So now I'm going to take a cream. And I already have the glaze. So I'm going to take a different brush. And I'm going to put a little cream in with the glaze. And then I'm going to pat. And you just keep on building it up until you like what you have. Pat, pat, pat. Then I might have to go back with a little blue again. And I'm trying to give the effect that there's, you know, a blue sky with some clouds. I'm not doing it totally white. I like it a little bit softer. And it's real easy to pick the color back up with the glaze added to it. The glaze helps you pick up the color back up. Now I'm going to put a little bit more blue in here. See how I'm just building up, working it until I like what I, what I say. A little bit more blue over in here. Okay, so let's see. How does that look? It's hard to see, um, but on camera, but you, maybe you can see a little bit. You see how I made like clouds here, down here. Her dress is going to go on here anyway. A lot of this is going to be covered. Basically, you're going to see like probably this much up. But I'm going to leave this like this underneath it. And after she's down, my girl is down. I don't want to show you the girl down yet. I'm going to wait until this dries and then I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> then um, I can go back down around here and fill in more color if I want. So, but this looks pretty good on top. I might dab a little bit more and play a little bit more. Then when you're done, you just peel this away. You just pull, pull your tissue paper away. And then you have a different back. So try it. It's fun. You like to play and get your fingers dirty. It's a lot of fun. And they sell all these different sizes in uh, Michaels and I think AC Moore, all different sizes of the canvas. Okay? And I'll save that just in case I want to make it, you know, add more. There you go. So, thanks for watching and try it out. Let me know how you like it. And, uh, happy Mother's Day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.